question we are going to continue with our collections in apex series and now uh, we are going to do a deep dive into the sets collection so we are going to see introduction to sets then we, got, we are going to see the different time complexities of set methods uh, we'll we'll see what when to use sets and then in the end we'll solve some lead code questions involving sets so let's start Firstly, the introduction to set. So a set is an unordered collection of elements that does not contain any duplicates. Set elements can be of any data type, primitive types, collections, S object, user defined types, built in apex types. Set can contain collections that can be nested within one another. For example, we can have a set of list of sets of integers. Uh, a set can contain up to seven levels of nested collections uh, inside it and uh, with uh, uh, that is up to eight levels overall and as i said uh, as i said uh, a set is a unordered collection that means we can't access a set element at a specific index only iterate over set elements the iteration order of set elements it's uh, deterministic uh, so we can rely on the order being the same in each subsequent execution of same code so for example, uh, uh, this, uh, this is how we create a set um, in Apex. So we use the less than or greater than sign. Within it, we provide our data type. So I want to create a set with string data type. And then we are going to use the new keyword. And uh, this is the syntax to create a set. And this is how we add elements to the set. So we have different methods associated with sets. So let's see them and see their time complexities. So firstly, we have the set.add method. So this adds an element to the set if it is not already present. So if it's already present, it doesn't do anything. Uh, it's a big of one operation that is a constant time because set uh, because Apex uses a hash structure for all the st sets. So in the back end, Apex uh, language has implemented hashing for sets. So that is a complete hashing is a completely different topic. So uh, I'm uh, which I'm not going to go into much detail. So but we can say that with hashing, uh, we have the add remove uh, contains in constant time. So remove uh, is like removing the element uh, from the set as the name suggests. So it is again a constant time operation because Apex uses hash structure for all its sets. Now we have the contains method. So contains it's like if you want to check whether a specific element is present in the set. So uh, it returns true if only that element is pre present in the set. Again, this is a constant time operation. So uh, with list, uh, with list, the uh, list dot contains is a not is not a constant time. It is a big O of n time. But with set, this is a average case a constant time operation. Now we have the clone set dot clone. So this is a big O of n operations and since we'll uh, since all the elements needs to be iterated once to make a clone of it. Now uh, we also have the set dot equals method like if you want to compare two different sets whether they are equal or not this will be a big O of n time operation because we'll have to compare one element each one by one. Now the question is when to use sets. So when you don't want duplicates in your data then go for sets. This is opposite to list list a uh, uh, list collection which can contain duplicates. Uh, even the map uh, collection which we are going to study later, the keys of the maps are stored in a set as well. So the keys uh, of the map is also unique. So uh, another uh, use case is like when we need to perform faster search, then go for sets. Since the average case complexity for the contains method is constant, as I said previously, while for lists, list it's big O of n. So now uh, this was the basic introduction. Now let's solve some lead code questions. So I've uh, chosen this question, lead code 217. So it says that given an integer array nums, return true if any value appears at least twice in the array, return false otherwise. So uh, for example, uh, if you see the example one, one is appearing twice. So that is why the output is true. In the example two, no element is appearing twice. That is why the answer is false. And similarly in uh, example three. So based, as, we, as we discussed, a set cannot contain duplicate elements. So we can use a set here uh, to determine whether the list or the array contains duplicates or not. So let's go to our execute anonymous window and see it. 
so firstly uh, before uh, solving it i'll i want to show you what happens when we add a duplicate element to a set so i am adding 1 and 2 then i am debugging the set then again i am adding 1 and then debugging the set so let's see what are the values for it execute highlighted debug only so boom. you you see that duplicate values are not added to the set and set determines uh, that it is a duplicate and doesn't add it uh, add the value this concept let's solve a uh, lead code 217 so uh, uh, we have an uh, input here the input is 1 2 3 4 the input doesn't contain any duplicates so we have created a set of integers and we are going to iterate over the input array then we are going to see uh, we are going to check if a set dot contains uh, that specific number if it contains that specific number just print true and return otherwise add that element to the set and once this full iteration is complete uh, this false statement will, will print uh, this shows that there is no duplicates in the set so let me run this with 1 2 3 4 as the input i'll click on execute highlighted debug only and boom it sh it shows me that uh, it prints false that means there are no duplicates in the set let me change the input so i'll comment out this one and i'll uncomment this one so this contains duplicate so now let's see wh what it prints execute highlighted debug only so it prints true that means it contains duplicate right now it Let's say we have a question where we need to count the unique elements using set. So how will we do it? For example, this is our input 1, 2, 3, 4. The number of unique elements here is 4, right? So uh, we, can, we can use a set to count the number of unique elements. So we'll iterate over the set. Uh, we'll check if uh, the set, dot set is containing that specific number. So we'll iterate over that input list. And we'll check if set the set contains that specific number. If it does, then just continue, like skip that iteration and go to the next one. Otherwise, add that element to the set. And in the end, we'll just print the size of the set. So let's let's run this and see the input here is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer should be 4. Let's run it. Debug only, and the answer is 4. Boom. Now first input and uncomment the second input. Now uh, let, let us see how many unique elements are present in this list. So let me run it. Execute highlighted. So the answer is 5. That means that this list contains 5 unique elements. Right. So now. Uh, we have another question to solve that is remove duplicates from a sorted array. So let me go to lead code and let me uh, let us uh, go through the question. So it says that given an integer array nums sorted in non decreasing order, non decreasing order means descending order. So it says that remove the duplicates uh, in the input array such that each element appears only once the relative order of the elements should be kept the same so our input is double one two so uh, the output should be two and the input array should be modified like this one and two which which basically we should return the number of unique elements and we should return an array with the unique elements so if we see example number two so we the unique elements are zero one two three four so the output should be 5 and the input array should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So hope you understood it. Uh, so let's let me go back to the execute anonymous window 4. So let's say we have this input and uh, uh, we I'm creating a set and I'm now I'm declaring an integer where I'm going to store the first element of the input. And I'm going to add that first element. Uh, I'm going to add that first element to our set. Now I'll iterate over this set and I'll check if the input, uh, the ith element of the input is not equal to the current element. So uh, we'll start our uh, loop from one. So it will say, it will check whether zero, uh, this is the first element 
whether zero is not equal to the uh, zeroth element. So this is the zeroth element. So this if statement will return false and it will go to the next statement. Now it will check whether one is not equals to zero. The condition is true. Now it will change the current element to one. So we are will in update the current el element to one and we are going to add the unique element uh, our, and we are going to add that element to our unique set because that hasn't been repeated before, right? Uh, then we are going to update our input array uh, with the unique dot size minus one line will uh, the unique dot size will return the number of unique elements currently which we have seen. For example, uh, zero and one. So one would be the second element. So we'll update the input uh, list with uh, with the second index of the input list with the current element. So uh, now the list would be zero instead of zero comma zero, it would be zero comma one. So the list would be updated like this. So once this full uh, loop runs, uh, we'll have the input. We'll have the once it runs, we'll have the input list as zero one two three four and the remaining values remaining values so uh, now we'll just copy the first uh, we'll copy the unique values uh, into an output list and then we are just going to debug that list and we are going to show the unique elements so hope you understand it uh, so let me run it so we are, I'm going to run it with this input uh, this uh, input and let me click on execute highlighter. Let me click debug only. Boom. So it is returning me an array of all the unique elements plus the number of the unique elements. So now let me enter this input and I've uncommented this input. So let me add another element here. So uh, we'll have four since this is a sorted array. Uh, now this our condition is uh, like if we provide it in this logic a sorted array it should return us the uh, the uh, the array with all the duplicate elements removed and the number of unique elements so let me uh, select it and let me click on execute highlighted it shows me that the unique elements are one two three four and the debug is four so this is correct uh, since I added an extra four at the end. So, uh, so this is the logic for lead code 26. So thanks everyone for watching the video. My next video will be on the maps uh, collection and we'll so solve some cool lead code questions as well in that video. So do subscribe to the channel and thanks everyone for watching.